Hey guys, welcome back to chapter 15 of the Skyward Sword video walkthrough. And uh, we got a new goal from the old woman at the Seal Temple, and that is to look for the Triforce. Right, that's easier said than done. Uh, in fact, the remainder portions of this video, as well as the next two full chapters, will all involve finding the Triforce. So uh, it's a long process, I'd say it's a little more exciting than uh, than the Triforce hunt in the Wind Waker. Uh, the Triforce hunt in the Wind Waker was more of a more tedious, more of like a scavenger hunt type thing. Uh, while this one, it's a it's a more long, drawn out quest. That there's so many sub quests within the quest that you don't actually think to yourself, I have to find the Triforce. Where is it, etc. Uh, anyway, we're going to be doing a couple of side quests first. Uh, you can run on over to the fortune teller in the bazaar and you'll find that well the fortune teller is no longer there uh, in fact if you talk to one of the guys in the diner he mentions that the fortune teller has gone missing and uh, he asks if you can go and check on her it's funny because uh, <laughs> you know the, the the guy in the diner makes sort of fun of the fortune teller in a sense he's like how come he didn't see this coming <laughs> the fact that you know the crystal ball shattered uh you know seeing as he's a fortune teller i don't know it's kind of funny anyway you can run on over and speak to the fortune teller over at his house and you'll find yeah his fortune his crystal ball has shattered and and now he's all sad doesn't even want to go to work and uh i guess he's just gonna stay here uh however as soon as you find out that yeah link recovered a windmill either, uh, earlier, or the little propeller for the windmill under beneath the clouds, uh, perhaps Link can help the fortune teller. So of course Link is going to agree to do so, I mean, Link is always doing these random fetch quests that have nothing to do with his main progress, but that's what Zelda is all about, right? Anyway, Fi will uh, use the dowsing ability, basically it'll trigger the crystal ball to go as one of the dowsing slots so that you can look for the crystal ball. <laughs> so the fortune teller already gave us a clue as to where the uh, crystal ball was originally found. It was on a mountain on top of a building. Uh, so this is a hint that well, it's in the Elden Volcano region. So uh, that's going to be our next destination. So just run on over to any of the nearby uh, like decks here and just uh, jump off the ledge and uh, call over your loft wing and just fly on over to the Elden Volcano region once again. Uh, per usual, I'm just going to skip through the flying area just because it's kind of tedious but once I arrive here I'm going to come to the temple entrance uh, once you arrive you can use your dowsing mechanic and you'll find that there is a crystal ball right above like atop the entrance of the earth temple and uh, conveniently there is a claw shot target just uh, above the like, pillar area over here uh, you can just stand on the nearby ledge here and uh, from there you'll be able to claw on over to the target and from there you can just walk on over to the crystal ball I just like to say that I absolutely love Scrapper's theme. Uh, I don't know, it's, it doesn't really fit in. It's sort of like cartoony sounding a little bit, but uh, I don't know. <laughs> it's so happy. Uh, anyway, that's pretty much all we have to do here for now at the Elden Volcano region. So just go ahead and return to the sky and then fly back over to Skyloft. Uh, one thing worth noting is you have to do this quest 
right now. Otherwise, if you continue with the main quest and do one step forward, then uh, you're not actually going to be able to do this uh, quest uh, for a while. Because uh, as soon as you do the next part of the main quest, <laughs> you know I'm talking very generically here, uh, but this triggers an event so that the next time you go to the Elden Volcano region, uh, you're not going to be able to actually just warp to wherever you want to go and the whole landscape sort of changes. More about that in the next chapter, though. So, uh, go ahead and head on over to the fortune teller's house, and Scrapper will drop the crystal ball on his table, and, uh, he gets all excited and happy, and, uh, of course, Link's reward for completing the crystal ball spirits fortune teller side quest thingy is, well, five gratitude crystals, of course. This will bring the total number of Gratitude Crystals to 65. There's uh, only three more side quests that, uh, that we really need to do. Uh, however, or one of them we're going to be able to do in this chapter at uh, one of the later videos. Uh, however, the other two side quests uh, we're not going to be able to do until a little bit later on in the game. Uh, so there's only three more quests to do, and uh, we'll, we will have all 80 Gratitude Crystals completed uh, by the end of Chapter 16. So uh, we'll cover that in the next chapter. Uh, for now, we want to find out more about the Triforce. And uh, the old woman sort of mentioned it before, but uh, we, we know that the Triforce is somewhere here in Skyloft. So uh, we need to find out some more information, so let's go on and speak with some of the more intelligent people here of Skyloft uh, and immediately what came to mind for me was let's go and talk to Gapora over at the Knight Academy. So run on over and uh, Gapora's room as we've been there before is at the second floor of the Knight Academy using the double doors by the staircase. So run on over and uh, head inside his room. Alright, so we need to talk to Levias. However, that leads to us to a quest of its own because Levias has been acting up lately and uh, Instructor Olin has been looking into it. So run on over and speak to him.
All right, so Instructor Olin, in order to be able to go and see Levias, because it's dangerous, it's dangerous to go alone, uh, he's going to teach us a brand new technique using uh, when we're on the loft wing. Uh, and this is sort of like a spin attack type thing. It's very similar to uh, like the water dash attack that Link performs underwater, uh, except this is in the air and it's using your loft wing to attack. Uh, it's basically a dash attack. It's the same thing as just pressing A right now. It gives us a speed burst, but once we learn this new ability, that speed burst will also be a form of attack. So uh, this requires you to go through a little trial. It's almost like a mini game of sorts. Uh, so just jump onto your loft wing, and uh, Instructor Olin has set up various targets, uh, and you need to perform a spiral charge, which is the name of the attack and you need to break 10 of the targets that are in the air and you have two minutes to do so uh, this is easier said than done because uh, most likely you're not going to get this on your first try as it's uh it's kind of difficult actually i i it's it, it's not easy by any means um there's a couple stationary ones that are just on the sides of uh sides of these little floating rock islands uh those are usually the easy ones to hit while the, the ones that are moving, or the ones that are sort of enclosed within a rock, those are a little more difficult to hit. Uh, it takes time, it certainly does. Uh, my first time playing the game, I failed a number of times at this, uh, but uh, you eventually get better at it and you, you find like a certain route. Uh, in fact, like the first three or four of them are kind of easy for me to get because uh, I'm used to going through that exact precise route. Uh, the key is you don't want to move incredibly slow, so uh, you still want to uh, you want to move like fly up to the top and then come down quicker to, to pick up speed. Uh, however, you don't want to lose control by going too fast, so there's a there's a balance that you need to overcome. Uh, this particular run I'm running through here, uh, I, I, I'm actually doing pretty well. I right now I have 40 seconds left and I only need to hit three targets, so. Uh, that's pretty good. Uh, in general, you pretty much just want to hit whatever target you want. You see straight ahead. Uh, I'd advise you to hit as many of the non-moving targets as possible, since uh, well, they're not moving, so that's one thing uh, you don't really need to factor in. I was able to do it with 23 seconds remaining. I know I can do better than that, but uh, that's actually pretty good, and I think that's actually the best time I've ever gotten in terms of succeeding, since. Uh, as soon as you succeed, you can't really play this again, so... Now that we have the means of attacking enemies and sort of defending ourselves against a more, I guess, aggressive Levias, uh, we now actually have to find him to figure out where he is. Uh, Instructor Olin gives you the hint that uh, you want to head on over and speak to the owner at the Lumpy Pumpkin, as uh, he's been dealing with Levias in the past. So. Uh, fly on over to the Lumpy Pumpkin and head inside to speak to the owner. Once you arrive, you'll notice there's this gigantic pumpkin right next to the owner, and the owner also has a little bubble over his head. Go ahead and speak to him, and you'll find out that, or at least once you mention Levias' name, you men he mentions that he's been giving him an offer of pumpkin soup pretty much every single year. So, uh, he, now Link offers to deliver this pumpkin soup to Levias, and uh, we learned that Levias is in Thunderhead, and uh, Link basically agrees to do it, and uh, the owner will go ahead and make a recipe of pumpkin soup. Of course, that gigantic pumpkin right next to the owner, that is what we are going to use to transport the gigantic pumpkin soup. Fi will appear, and uh, we'll call over our friend Scrapper to transport the pumpkin soup. How exactly Scrapper gets outside with that pumpkin is, uh, <laughs> well, yeah, it's another question that doesn't really have an answer, but uh, it makes sense if you don't think about it. So uh, the owner mentions that there is a rainbow in Thunderhead, which will 
sort of give us a gives us a clue on how we can reach Levias. So uh, that's going to be our next destination over at Thunderhead at the small island with a rainbow. So jump back on your loft wing and uh, Scrapper will be following just behind you. Uh, you'll see a bubble over the girl's head here. We can't really complete that quest so we're going to go ahead and skip that for now. Uh, just jump on your loft wing and fly on over to Thunderhead. That's going to be our next destination and uh, we will cover that in the next video. So I will see you guys then, and we will meet up with Levias.